T.J. Watt coming through with the sack. This looks like here's number 90. His defensive tackle is going to push up the field, and he's just going to fold inside. And if you're going to hold the ball at all against this Pittsburgh defense, get ready to take first game, eyes wide open. You just don't really know what's going on. It moves so fast for him. Here's Carson. Lost the football. Steelers have recovered. And it is taken back all the way by Mark Barrett. And a penalty marker at the end of the run. Second, but watch this. Just watch. I love talking about intent on defensive players. Bam! Knock that ball right out. It's an oblong spherosoid. You don't know where it's going to bounce, but Mark Barron is Johnny on the spot, comes right to him. And then this penalty at the end of the play hit, Kenny, is just, it's just un un unnecessary. Garoppolo still with the football. Now throwing at the screen. Pops up in the air. Picked off. The Steelers have the turnover inside the 35-yard line. Once again, it's Jeff Wilson in the backfield alongside Garoppolo. And a mess up on the snap. And it is picked up by the Pittsburgh Steelers. T.J. Watt. Knows the protection. Dalton had to do everything he could just to hold on to that football that time with T.J. Watt and Stephon Tuitt crashing home. Third sack of the night for the Steelers. Respond to what Pittsburgh has been able to do. Dalton pressure and raining down on him is T.J. Watt. Fifth sack of the night for the Steelers. It's a major weapon out of the arsenal right now. For Baltimore, second and seven. Jackson in the pocket, turns into the pressure, and it's TJ Watt who is trying to rip the ball away. Only a three man rush, eight back to cover, a little dump off here, and Eckler spins, and he'll be stopped at the line of scrimmage. That's TJ Watt who is right there. Bridges and lost. Tonight they were down by 21, and that's knocked down, and that's TJ Watt of the fable Watt. Trailing by 10, and Fitzpatrick goes down, and it's T.J. Watt. And they're claiming they got the football. Steelers do! Watch number 90, T.J. Watt, coming off the corner. He's going to take it up and then come inside. The arm over. He gets number 77, Jesse Davis, leaning forward. I'm not sure is the ball. Is Second and 10. Battered again by Watt. And they're saying he was down there. Second and 16 for Indianapolis. Hoyer in the pocket. Hoyer is dumped. T.J. Watt. Week in, week out. Watch this effort here by Watt. Going to dip that right shoulder and then just drive right to the quarterback. Goff is sacked as soon as he landed on his back foot the pocket collapsed and we'll give T.J. Watt the credit and T.J. Watt from the offensive right and they meet at Jared Goff here comes number 90 T.J. Watt gets under Rob Havenstein and you can see on the opposite side Bud Dup no timeouts ball is out the pressure on Goff Rams got it back Another fumble. T.J. Watt forced that fumble. He's been a force all afternoon. Yeah, well, Brady just tweeted that he turned off Thursday Night Football. <laughs> Mayfield gets sacked, and it's Watt. T.J. Watt got there in a loss of four. Well, they put Farrell Brown out here at tight end, 86, and uh, he just, you know, is. And now it's different, especially on the left side. Finley looking to throw. Watts coming. Finley loses the football. T.J. Watt the sack. And the Bengals have recovered. Giovanni Bernard fell on it. 
We talk about speed to power. We talked to T.J. Watt in our meeting the other day. He's only 245 pounds, but his speed and the power that he has in those hands, you saw the hands swipe away the hands of Bobby Hart, the right tackle. Baker Mayfield improved play in the month of November, and we now have hit December. Mayfield is sacked. T.J. Watt. Murray on fourth down. Murray at the 10, throws end zone, and it's intercepted. T.J. Watt. His second interception of the season. From the 43 after that timeout. Singletary big hole, points it. Ball's out. Singletary lost it, and Pittsburgh has it. Singletary is back in there. And on a draw, he gets stuffed. T.J. Watt takes his legs out from under him. It's a Fourth phenomenal play. Watch it. He's going to come off, basically get off balance, know where the ball is, dive for his foot, get just enough of it, tackle for loss. Huge play by a great player. Two timeouts remaining. 36 seconds left first half. Darnold. Oh, didn't see the defender coming, and he loses the ball. T.J. Watt, a splash play for Pittsburgh. Yeah, he did it again, didn't he? Seven times this year, he's forced to fumble. This is the trifecta. The sack, the forced fumble, the fumble recovery. T.J. Watt, we asked him about the... Even a field goal to the Ravens, as bad as the Steeler offense.